the brown bear in your feedlots and start making paths to cleaner, drier pens for greater cattle comfort. In this video, we will be visiting different large Nebraskan feedlots who all use brown bear model 500 auger aerators to dry and maintain their pens. First, let's go to Adams Land and Cattle Company, a 50,000 plus head operation located in Broken Bow, Nebraska, and meet their supervisor, Gary Cannell, to see how the Brown Bear Model 500 fits into their manure drying process. The pen condition, we uh, try to dry it down. If, if we're not going to haul the manure out right away, we take the Brown Bear in and put it in windrows for cattle comfort and accessibility to the bunk. Uh, the Brown Bear helps out a lot. It's quite a little faster than going in and making big stockpiles with loaders. Adams Cattle Company also has an off-site composting operation to handle their waste manure. Our manure drying process, we uh, transport it from the pen in dump trucks, take it to a stockpile area, uh, establish windrows with it, and bring the brown bear in and, and separate the windrows and dry it down. If it's 80% moisture, we'll dry it down to 25% moisture and then we'll transport it 15 miles away and spread it on fields. We asked Gary to tell us a little about the cattle's reaction to having a brown bear in their pens. It doesn't really bother the cattle at all. I mean, they'll come up and rub on it and everything. It, it, they're not shy a bit from it. Cattle comfort, like I say, uh, if the manure is, say, eight inches deep, they, they burn energy trying to get to the bunk. We go in and, and just literally windrow trails up to the bunk for them. It gives them a place to lay down, uh, dries out quick. Every cattle feeder knows that they have to do everything they can to increase cattle comfort. And that's exactly what the brown bear does. It dries quick because the brown bear auger aerator's reverse rotation works the windrow from the bottom up and to the side, aerating all material to ground level. This method of moving and reestablishing the windrow in one pass means maximum oxygen incorporation and eliminates anaerobic pockets and odors. Let's move east to Fullerton, Nebraska, where Christensen Cattle, an 18,000 head operation, is using its Model 500 to compost large four to five foot tall windrows. So I'm uh, Tom Beck. I work for uh, Christensen Feedlots in Fullerton, Nebraska, basically in charge of pen maintenance and operation of the brown bear and heavy equipment. Uh, here at Christensen's, we use the brown bear basically for in the springtime going into the pens and windrowing the manure to uh, dry the manure out, windrow it so we can get in with get in with tractors and sheep foot packers and work the pens and build mounds. Like Adams Cattle Company, Christensen's cattle also has a large compost operation that is now incorporating green yard waste from the city of Fullerton. This high carbon source has increased the windrow temperatures by 30 degrees. We uh, land apply some of our compost too on corn ground. We have uh, manure spreaders and we'll windrow it, let it dry in the windrows, and sometimes we'll haul out of the windrows. To, it's just a little too sloppy to haul until we windrow it. A combination of in-pin drying and off-site composting seems to be the winning method for most feedlots using the brown bear auger aerators. Here, we see why a bear is such an important tool in feedlots. Without the aid of the aerating paddle auger, this material would simply never dry. That crust has to be broken, exposing the wet material to sun and wind drying, or your cattle will always be wading through this muck, wasting valuable energy. As you observe the brown bear in operation, consider these benefits from using this aerator. It builds and shapes its own windrows. It works on rough, unprepared surfaces, as well as on prepared pads. Alleyways are not required with this machine, so there is a great reduction in space requirements. Good pulverization of material makes for a fine textured finished product, which increases ease of spreadability. And specifically for operations in your pens, dry manure and mud in the pens and recompact to reduce pen base haul out. Dry manure in retention ponds. Keep cattle out of mud. Move snow away from bunks and aprons. And finally, compost manure for improved land application product 
through increased ease of spreadability, preservation of nitrogen in compost, killing of bacteria and parasites, and the killing of weed seeds. We believe that the finished compost product and the increased cattle comfort gained with the use of the brown bear auger aerators is beneficial to cattle feeders. But don't take our word for it. Take the words of fellow cattle feeders themselves. Right now we're just coming out of a real wet period and it's drying down real quick. We had the brown bear out there. We were running it probably 16 to 18 hours a day and making windrows in the pens, uh, in the drainways and the mounds. Uh, right now the pen conditions are excellent. We're rebuilding them right now. The manure is dried down. We don't have any problem at all. We've had a lot better gain in the wintertime. The cattle keep, keep the mud off the cattle and, and get to the bunks. They're more active out in the pens instead of just standing around in the mud. For additional information on how brown bear auger aerators can help clean up your wet pens,